hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to copy s3 objects from one account to different aws account so in real time we use im role or im user to automate this job with the manual process so here i'll use a replication rule and batch processing job rule so to replicate my s3 objects from one account to different aws account to the destination s3 bucket so let's get back to the source account to the S3. So this is my source bucket, which I'm holding off three objects in my source bucket. And this is my destination account where I, ha I don't have any objects in the destination account. So before you're going to the replicate objects, you need to check the bucket versioning should be enabled both the sides. So the source account of the source bucket should be enabled and the destination bucket and the destination account of the bucket should be the versioning should be enabled so go to Ma management and create a replication rule so replica rule on source account so the status choose whether the rule will be enabled or disabled when it is created and the priority is you can create one or more replication rules so you can give it as a priority so it will be uh, the biggest priority and the lowest priority so there's a source account of the source bucket this is the one and you can choose a rule scope like uh, if you want to transfer only one particular bucket need, or one particular object need to replicate from the source account you can give it as a prefix and here I'm, I'll go with apply to all objects in the bucket and in the destination I need to specify my bucket account ID and the bucket name as well so copy the account ID and the bucket name and if you want to change object ownership to destination bucket owner you can enable this option so if you want to create an IAM role, you can go ahead and create new IAM role. If you want to use new IAM role which is already created, you can give it as existing IAM roles or you can give it as ARN of the role. So here I will go ahead to create a new role and if you want to use encryption, you can uh, use AWS KMS or customer manager KMS for encryption. So you can use destination storage class also in seven types of storage classes are there. And the replication time control is it will replicate in 15 minutes of 99.99% .99 of the objects. So it will uh, suppose if you will get a notification like the source objects are copied to destination bucket and the job has been completed. So you, AWS will charge for more fees incur in charges. And the replication metrics and notifications are so you can get a replication rules like metrics and notifications from the CloudWatch. And the delete marker replication is if you delete, suppose if you want to delete a source account in the source bucket, you delete as one object, it will be going automatically deleted in the destination account of the destination bucket, the uh, same object, it will be deleted. So the replica modification sync is it will sync the metadata changes whatever you have made in the source account of the source bucket. So click on save. So check the destination account of the destination bucket. So there are no objects here. So it will pop up a window as replicate existing objects or not. So I'll go with as replicate existing objects. So submit here. So before this, you need to copy this policy in the S3 of the destination account. So this is my S3 policy for us to in the destination account S3 bucket. So you need to copy the source account IAM, IAM ARN. For this, you need to go here and copy the IAM ARN of the role. So copy this IAM role and paste it here and copy the destination bucket ARN and copy here. So this is the policy where you need to 
paste it in the destination account of the destination bucket. So copy here and go to permissions and edit your bucket policy. So this is where you need to paste it here and click on save. The bucket policy has been updated. So go to the source account and go to the where you have stopped the operations job the batch operations job so if you want to go the job run options automatically run the run job when it is ready and wait to run the job when it is ready so you can go ahead whether this option or this one you can create automatically when the job is ready and if you want to create a completion report uh, like fail task and successfully task you can uh, generate a report into your s3 bucket and the destination report it also it will aut replicate automatically so i don't want any uh, completion report and here i will go with the create new role for this batch operation replication rule so i'll wait to run the job when it is ready so if you see here it will ask for batch operations in manifest so I will go with automatically the run job when it is ready. So I don't want any generated completion report. I am creating the role the same. And it has been saved. So if you see here, I don't have any objects in the destination bucket. So the job has been created. And if you go here, it is taking error occurred when preparing manifest access denied when rep reading replication configuration from ARN to the source bucket. So one second guys, let me check the error. So the job operation has been failed. Uh, welcome back guys. So if you see here, so it is asking for reasons of failure. It is not able to prepare manifest file access denied. So let me clone my job. So the same job has been created and the bucket is source bucket, it will create manually the manifest file. So click on next and click on replicate. So priority you can give 1 or 2 or 10. So I don't want any completion report and choose existing roles and I click on next and clone job. So if you go here and refresh the page it is starting to prepare manually the manifest file it is unable to take the objects from the source bucket so i have i have taken manually the manifest file so it is still in preparing So if you see here in the source bucket, I have only three objects in the my source bucket. So I don't have any destination bucket objects. So it is saying that awaiting your confirmation to run. So I need to go down and run the job. You click run job and you need to enter the run job. It is says the successfully received confirmation to run this job ID. So it is saying that it is in active state and the total objects listed in manifest are 3. So the manifest ha file has been taken as 3 objects from the source account and it, it will say as 100% as succeeded rate if it is success. If it is failure it will show as 100% failure. So let us wait for this job has been completed or not. So it is still in active state. So if you go to the destination bucket, the objects has been replicated. So the console has not been refreshed. So let me refresh my console page. So the job has been completed. So it is saying that it is in completing stage. 
So you can see here the three objects has been replicated from the source account to destination account and the success rate is 100%. So it will show as completed stage. And you can verify these objects in the destination account, the same objects which are in the source account. So I am policy, source bucket policy, source bucket policy dot backup file. So the same has been replicated. Suppose these existing objects are replicated. Suppose I want to upload a new file, it should be automatically replicated to the destination account also. Suppose I'll upload as instance with the 053 this ID I need to upload. So it has been uploaded into source account of the log file has been uploaded. So it should automatically reflect in the destination account also. So if you refresh here, it will take some time to replicate and you can see the log file here itself. So let me show here the batch operations job is in completed state. So it is saying that 100% is completed and the success rate is 100%. This is where you can run the batch operations job automatically. So this file I need to show in the destination account. This is, this is where you can upload new objects and it will automatically reflect in the destination account also. So let's wait. So if you see here the log file has been replicated automatically so without any manual intervention of human so it is automatically reflected from the source account source bucket to destination account destination bucket here. So this is where the automation job will work in the management you can see here the replication it is automatically enabled so the status is showing that enabled so it will automatically replicate from the source account of the source bucket to the destination bucket the objects so this is where you can do automation of your job so it will be as a time consuming and it will be overridden of your head so that's it guys this is where you can transfer your source buckets to the destination account destination objects to the destination s3 so you need to uh, verify that the bucket has to be versioning enabled from the both the sides. So you need to verify that you need to more aware of this S3. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Please let me know if you have any queries. Please